Good afternoon to everyone in the Western Fells Methodist Circuit and anybody else who's meeting us uh, here in this space. And I welcome on your behalf Paul Harold, or to give him his official title now, the Reverend Paul Harold. I don't know if you've got used to that yet, Paul. Um, but we acknowledge that the new Methodist year started yesterday. And we appreciate the fact that you've got a lot to familiarise yourself with. So we really appreciate you taking the time out to speak with us today. Uh, new appointment for you. So thank you for giving us your time. Now, for those who are looking in, uh, why are we having this conversation? Well, Paul's got his welcome service on Sunday and we know that not everyone is able to be there. Uh, so this is an opportunity for you to get to know Paul. And certainly uh, those of us who are right down in the South may not get to see Paul for a while because he's got to familiarise himself with his patch. So I'm gonna ask you, Paul, as, as part of our getting to know you, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your story, please? I certainly can, Keena. Well, thank you so much, Keena, for that lovely introduction. Um, well, uh, as many of you may know, my name is Paul and my wife's name is Carolyn. And I think the first thing I want to say is that it's an absolute joy to be joining the Western Felt Circuit, to be joining part of the ministry of all of us and the ministry of the team here. Many of you may know or may not know that I've just completed the first stage of my training at the Queen's College in Birmingham. And this will be my first appointment as a presbyter minister, still in training. Mm. Um, I'm considered a probationer and I hope to be ordained in two years time in 2023. Little bit about my background. Uh, before moving to Birmingham, uh, we lived in Cornwall where Carolyn and I ran a small guest house, a three bedroom guest house in a place called Lou. And prior to that, we lived in Manchester and we moved to Cornwall in 2005. So we, we ran the guest house for a good 15 to 18 years. As well as running a guest house, I've worked in education and I've also worked for the probation service. And it was while living in Cornwall that I became a local preacher and I also candidated for the ministry. Carolyn's background, my wife, is very much as a nursery nurse, although in more recent years, she's actually worked in retail. I've got two children. I've got uh, a son called Eli, who's in his mid twenties, who lives and works in Manchester. And I've got a daughter in her late twenties who lives and works in Australia. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I've only been to visit her once so far. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we love Cumbria. I mean, what a lovely place to have been stationed. Um, it's scenic walks, it's mountains, it's lakes. In many ways, it reminds us of Cornwall. Mm -hmm. And I think he's very similar to Cornwall. Stunning walks, it's coastal views and in many ways, very much a rural or semi-rural type community. Mm -hmm. Carolyn and I love exploring, and what a wonderful place to live to do that. Yeah. Uh, that is something that we hope to do on our days off. I enjoy keeping fit, which I think is really important in ministry, to have something that just helps you escape a bit and turn, you, and turn your mind to, to other things just for a few minutes or a few hours a day. So I've already become a member of the Leisure Centre at Workington. So who knows, somebody might meet me in there when I go for a swim or go to the local gym. To relax, I do a whole range of things, but I do enjoy watching television. And I find that's a great way of just chilling out, keeping up to date with Coronation Street, some of the soaps. and, and the <laughs> Carolyn is looking so forward to having a house with a garden. In Birmingham, in the flat, uh, we mm. had a, a one bedroom flat at the top of a block of flats. There was no garden. And you can imagine how challenging that was during the pandemic when you weren't really to be going out that much and there was nowhere to sit out or do anything. So having a manse with a, a garden is a great privilege. 
and Carolyn is really looking forward to spending time in the garden. Just before I shut up, can I just share one particular Bible verse that has meant a lot to me? Please do, yeah. O over the recent months and years, really. And it's, and it's some words from the Apostle Paul, who right into the church at Ephesus says these words. Now to him, and of mm. course he's referring to the Lord himself. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we can ask or imagine, according to his power. That is at work in us. I just read that just again for reflection. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we can ask or imagine according to his power that is at work in us. That verse has particular meaning to me but I think it has relevance for us all mm -hmm. particularly as we move further out of lockdown. And as of each of us, both individually and as churches and as a circuit, as we look to what God has in store for us. So that's a little bit about my background. And I'm sure Kina may want to ask me some other questions, but I'm not sure. <laughs> no, that, that's, that's a very comprehensive um, piece about yourself. And Carolyn as well, thank you for including uh, Carolyn, because you're, you're a couple, you know, and that's really important. And uh, I, I have to say, I'm a little surprised I hadn't got you down as a soap opera kind of guy. So I was, <laughs> was going to ask you what kind of TV you like. So thank you for that. So um, I welcome you um, as, as a fellow colleague. It's going to be a little bit confusing, Paul, isn't it? Because we've got two Pauls now uh, on the team. So, so that's going to be quite interesting. Could be quite humorous on occasions, I'm guessing. Um, but it's a joy to have uh, a colleague with us and someone who's got a lot of energy and passion and, and love for the Lord. And so we're really looking forward to working with you as a ministerial team, as a le leadership team, and also uh, with the churches as well. So I'm going to say a prayer for you and for Carolyn, if that's OK. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else you want to add to your introduction at all. No, I think I've covered most key things no there, Keena. I mean, people will meet me in the coming yes. months. That's it, yeah. That'll be wonderful to share face to face with them. It, it will. And they may have some questions to ask as well, you know. Absolutely. So I, 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 mustn't, uh, I mustn't steal their thunder on that, on that score. <laughs> but bless you, Paul. And I'll say a prayer. Um, thank you for your time again. And we'll just say a short prayer. So let us pray. Father God, I do thank you for Paul. Thank you for the story of his life, which he has shared with us. And we thank you for you being alongside him every moment of his life and bringing him here to us. We thank you for his passion for you and for mission and for outreach. And pray that you will grant him a flourishing ministry in this place. And we pray for both Paul and Carolyn as they settle in in this beautiful area. And Lord, I pray that this will soon begin to feel like home for them. So I pray that you will bless both of them, fill them with your love, pour out your spirit upon them. And may they know that you hold them both in the palm of your hand. For in Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Paul, and look forward to meeting you soon. Thanks, Thanks Keena.